Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Merry Stupid Clock. Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. I'm your host, Tiffany Daniels. And we're going to that horrible world known as the JRC, but before we do, the usual disclaimers. In the description box, folks, you can find a link to the article that the Judge Rotenberg Educational Center doesn't want you to read. It is written by Neuroclastic, a small non-for-profit started by autistics for autistics. In this article, they surveyed over 900 ABA professionals in regards to the JRC's so-called behavioral treatment program. In fact, the JRC doesn't want you to read this article so much they have threatened Neuroclastic with a defamation lawsuit if they did not remove it from the website. Neuroclastic has refused. So folks, please read the article, share it on all your social media. If they find it within them to threaten a small non-for-profit. There's something in that article the JRC doesn't want you to see. We also have Neuroclastic's public statement in regards to the defamation threat right there in the description box, as well as the link to their GoFundMe. We are crowdfunding folks just in case the JRC has the balls to see through their threat, okay? We also have the links in regards to the Agape boarding school situation, a school out in Stockton, Missouri for at-risk male teens, where there is 19 lawsuits, count them folks, 19 lawsuits accusing that boarding school of abuse, sexual abuse, torture, and starvation. All the links to that situation, what I'm finding out so far, is also in the description box. I've yet come across anything where Agape has said anything in regards to themselves or have tried to defend themselves in any way, shape, or form. I will include those as well, just like I do with the JRC, as soon as I come across them. We also have the other pertinent links to the Stop the Shocks campaign, including Autistic Hoya's massive archive on the subject, the templates, and the ever-present self-explanatory change.org shut the Judge Rotenberg Center down petition. When we discuss the JRC folks, you're going to hear vivid descriptions of and catch clips of surveillance footage of people with disabilities being tortured and abused. If you got young children present, please go ahead and use your headphones, all right? It is now 5 a.m. in the morning. I am freaking exhausted. I kicked my own ass before I jumped on here today. So if I stumble over my words, my apologies in advance, all right? So let's go to where we left off yesterday. And this is another episode of JRC Does Not Understand the Point. JRC reported that four NY students are approved for the multiple application GED. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is where they're going to sit there and lie to you again. They said, this is, this is not true. But this is why it's true. Who wants to bet? Who wants to bet this morning? And this is not what the JRC told the review team. They asked who was receiving multiple applications, and we reported that there were four students who were receiving multiple applications. Really? Fucking stupid stamp, JRC. That's not what we said, but... That's what we said. Actually, hold on. If we're mincing words here, we said they were receiving them, not that they were approved. Doesn't that make that fucking worse? Okay, if they're not approved for multiple applications, why are they receiving multiple applications? Wow. All students who are approved for the use of the GED are approved for multiple applications. Oh, because that makes it better.
because that makes it better. This is not what we told them, but this is what we told them. I haven't seen such a nonsensical sentence since I heard Mr. Rottenborn during the H versus JD trial object to his own fucking question. That 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 was that statement right there was that level stupid. That level stupid. Folks, the stupid is real and it physically hurts. Just just say him. Say him. 99. The report states that the GED is sometimes applied after a delayed period of time following the occurrence of a target behavior. Yes. And that has also been backed up by Jennifer Masamba and others victim statements. But you know, everybody's lying but the JRC. The GED sometimes applied after a short delay in order to carry out a brief verification procedure, which is typically requires only seconds to complete. You understand how that's worse, right? What the fuck are you verifying? If it works? If they scream? What the fuck? Before the GED is administered, the staff member who intends to administer it is required to check with another staff member in the same room to make sure that the correct procedure is administered to the correct student for the correct behavior. This verification procedure takes a matter of seconds and avoids potential mistakes. Who, on your side? You realize it's bullshit, right? You shouldn't be shocking them at all. We're not fucking cattle. In certain situations where a student is covered by a one-on-one -on -one staff member, a pre-verification procedure is permitted that endures able to GED be administered without any delay at all. It shouldn't be administered at all, fucking period. Treatment should not involve punishment. Period. Period. If you call it treatment and punishment is involved, it's not treatment, it's torture. Call it what the fuck it is. I have obviously had enough of their fucking word salad this morning. The stupid hurts and my brain is spinning here. So what we have learned this morning is that the JRC wants to tell you everything is not true, but then tell you, that's not what we said, but that's what we said. Right? Special level of stupid. Were they drinking when they wrote this? Because it, it kind of looks like somebody was drinking some shit. Like an incoherent mumbling. I don't know what the hell this is, but when you say that's not true, that's not what we said, this is what we said, and it's exactly the same as what was in the New York report. I'm just saying. Just saying. You also got the whole idea of these delayed shocks. So it's not enough that they're getting constantly shocked for stupid shit, like stopping work for more than three seconds. When they fucking work them nine hours a day, seven days a fucking week, my God, mainstream corporate America doesn't pull that shit. But they do at the JRC, though. 
how dare they take a three second break? So we don't just only have that or whatever they deem non-compliance that day and the bizarre behavioral lessons. Now, on top of that, we're going to have those delayed responses where, oh, we didn't shock them for this behavior. Zap! But, but it has to be pre-approved first. By who? The clinicians on your payroll. And on that note, folks, that's about as much stupid as I can take before I jump on the phones today. It's Saturday, and there's going to be a lot of it. We don't get very many views on this channel, folks, especially on this subject. The few that we do get do tend to get removed from time to time. So please don't forget to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit the comments. I do appreciate your time this morning. As always, we here at Spilling Tea hope you have a good one.